Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16, where I am in Lost Wing currently. In particular, I'm in the the Hanged Man pub. Um, if you noticed in the last video, I was looking through the orchestral rolls, and I noticed we were missing some. I followed a guide, and it said that there was one in here somewhere. So I'm now on the third floor looking for a treasure chest. But by the looks of things, I'm fine. Going up even higher. Okay. Why not? Let's go higher. We could have gotten this much earlier, assuming I get it here. But apparently I can't find anything now. I'm going to head back to the hideaway and I'll meet you over at Clive's room because I have to read a letter. Be right back. All right, and we're back. So, first things first, let's look at the wall of collectibles. So many new ones. All right. Shard Sparring Sword. Thank you, Torgal. But we came here actually for this. Turn for Jill. Yeah. If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. We should. Jill is priceless after all. I kind of wish we could take her with us, actually. But we also need the power of Shiva ourselves. Hmm. What do you got for me, boy? Joshua. I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine. I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever. That you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the duchy? Yeah. And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. Yeah, to see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys <laughs> combing the countryside. Ah, <laughs> uh, boys will be boys. In the rain. <laughs> a thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Let's go fill Man's it Hill. up. It's not that far. No, it's not. No, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in Southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? <laughs> I'm saying... We should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? I think we should take her with us, though, for this. Hawk's Cry Cliff. Where is Man's Hill, though? It's a man's hill. Huh. Luckily, it's not that far. This is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. There's no weapon spared. Oh, that's the blight. What do we do now? 
We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but... It's the only place I know of. You of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard? To the hideaway, then. Really, we should have done that back just in case, but. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. Uh, maybe. Oh, I still have to get my uh, piece of armor too, don't I? Yep. What do you want? I just want to see if you can make it for me. No, what am I missing? Or you call them. And. Okay. Wonder where I get it from. Say what you will. What do you got for me? Oh. What brings you down from the heavens, Sid? Wow. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Okay, so the Royal Meadows is next, I guess. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, oh, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go, then. Okay, so that'll be Northreach for the looks of things. All the voice bays to the north. Without her icon, though, can she go? Because there's a lot of Aether Floods here. Oh, I guess, yeah. And now my eye help the garrison today. Haven't seen any of those beastly blue eyes. So there is a problem that has arisen as well. Uh, one of the games I do want to stream is Digimon Survive and Digimon. Let's uh, go. Cyber Sleuth too, but with the new computer now, which I recently got, uh, Survive is fine. That's on the console, but Cyber Sleuth, I got it on the PC as I was, that's how I was playing it. So I have to replay that game. Uh, the next thing after that, I do want to play Miles Morales. I can probably play that as a regular game. We'll see though. The meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Up top. I mentioned the coastline. We can start there. We're gonna go up to the top here where the Lich was. And the reason I want to start off where the Lich is, is because, much like Man's Hill, five kill. Hmm, I guess not. Can I jump the cliff? Oh, there they are. I'm an idiot. Can I just jump off the cliff? Come on. No fall damage. But there are beasties. Unfortunately, Zan Zetsu can! Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh. What's coming now? What do you see, boy? Oh, boy. Ah, that's what you see. Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. Ow! No. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, if I had the lightning ball there, that would have been glorious. Sort of how I beat. Yes. Yes. So I like how that worked. That felt pretty good to me as well. That was harder than I expected. No. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Don't worry, I got Ramu. Where is she? Let me in! Hey, Jill. Jill. There's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, Don't worry uh, about it. Not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but... Let's go on an I'll adventure. Just a trip to Oriflam. Just us. What do you got? There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. 
Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... <laughs> tried to? How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. Yeah, well, she's dead now. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, yeah. I would be all right. Well, what's got you down now? I'll never forget that feeling. Oh, were you the dominant of Shiva back then, too, as a kid, I wonder? Hmm. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? Nope. No? What? You said a prayer, probably. I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there, I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... that no matter how terrible the night, Dawn would always come. That's good. That, that you... That you would always come... for me. And you have... again and again. <sighs> I like it, though. Where do you see us? Wait, all this is over. Rosaria, come on, say it. Rosalith. Rosalith. I don't know. Admit your feelings, friend. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. Really? After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. This reminds me of Final Fantasy VIII. Then... That's what you'll have. Yeah, this reminds me of Final Fantasy VIII quite a bit. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. good at garlands but it'll have to do I'll treasure it forever thank you Clive for this the flowers for everything well now I have a reason to come exactly back what I needed you are my treasure Aww. But I do empathize here because I also have my treasure.
Boom, shakalaka. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. Probably. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. That is a good close on that uh, thing. She was kissed. Ooh. Oh. I use diamond dust. That'd be great. But I don't. So, that concludes everything on this side of the continent, but we still have Walud to uh, find, so I will see everyone in the next video. We're going to start our travels in Walud in earnest. I know there's another orchestra role here. I also think there's a weapon I'm missing as well. Not that it matters, but I intend to find it. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. My name is Duke Rafe. Stay safe and have a great day. Goodbye!